Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove this um, junkware at chat, O-T-S-H-O-T. -O it comes prepackaged with a variety of different things that you'll get on sites like CNET and other sites like that that bundle a bunch of things together when, and then they'll auto install it if you forget to click, you know, that you don't want that crap. Um, so what you're going to want to do here first, I already went ahead and actually did the normal uninstall from the control panel. Um, but as you can see here, it's no longer in the control panel, but yet I just restarted this machine, and you're getting this pop-up here for Hotshot user registration. And then I close that out, and it'll pop up usually, you know, something about importing my contacts from Outlook, which, you know, I don't have that, and I don't want this Hotshot, you know, as most people get this, and nobody actually wants this. It's just some crap that's bungled in there. So first thing you're going to want to do, go down and, you know, turn shut down the running process here. So you can see it right here, um, or you sometimes you have to click the little arrow here to show the hidden icons. If you just right-click it, hit exit. You're going to go to Start menu here, go to Computer. You're going to go to the C drive. You're going to go to Program Files, and then you're going to find where it says Hotshot. And then that's what you're going to want to go ahead and delete, because that's, that's where it it install itself into so you're gonna just go ahead and drag it over to the recycle bin or you can right click it and um, just hit delete or you know click it and then hit the delete key as well and there you go took a little bit to delete but you're gonna wanna go ahead and empty your recycle bin there you're gonna wanna permanent delete it yes so now it's gone and then you'll go ahead and reboot your computer and you'll see that it no longer pops up. There won't be any reference to it or anything like that. Right now you still see this crap here, but once you go ahead and restart it, you'll see that that shouldn't pop up anymore. I'll restart it right now. You'll be able to see because it's a virtual machine, um, but on your own computer you'll be able to just reboot it and it should be gone. But we'll double check right now just to be sure. All right, it's booting up, so we'll go ahead and wait here just to verify that it doesn't pop up on startup anymore, which it shouldn't now that we removed that, but, you know, we'll see to double check. Not seeing it there. Let's see if it shows up. Yeah, it shows up there, but it's broken, so we're going to go ahead and right-click that and remove from this list. We'll go to our all programs here just to see if it shows up there anymore, which it no longer does, but we still want to delete the start menu um, entry from it. So go ahead and click delete there. Yes. Then, you know, there's, it's no longer here at all. Then once again, you'll remove, empty your recycle bin. And then, yeah, so you can see, at shot, no longer there. So yeah, it's kind of an annoying one. It's not your... You know, obviously, you, it's a good sign that it's junkware like that when, even when you run the classic, you know, from the control panel on AppWiz to uninstall it, it won't let you uninstall it. So, yeah, it's a good chance if there's something like that, it's not something you want on your computer. It'd be a good idea to run a full virus scan and clean your temporary files as well after doing this, just as a preventative measure. All right, that's it.